Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This is part 19. In the last episode, we repaired the Masamune, we found Frog, and got him back in our party. And now we're back at the end of time. Why? Well, we have a new party member, although Frog's not really new, but... We need to go Specchio and get him some magic. You'll notice, you'll also notice that Specchio has changed forms now into a blue goblin looking thing, which means we can have access to another set of power tabs or magic tabs if we can defeat him. But first things first, let's go ahead and get some magic for Frog. What a weird fellow, being a frog, let's give him water. Ipso facto minimo magico. Frog learned to use magic. Now, this is a very common mistake. You can take Frog and actually continue the story without getting his elemental stuff, but that is not a good idea, so you usually want to head back to uh, the end of time before you continue on. So, fortified with magic. Want to try it out? Yes, why not? Now, I'm not going to heal at all. We're probably too weak to kill this version of Specchio, but we'll try anyways. So, we'll use Lightning with Chrono. Let's see who he attacks. Marl with Lightning. That's not good. Probably going to... Oh, killer in one hit. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to take on Specchio just now, but I wanted to try it anyways. Okay, so Frog should have water now. It's kind of, like I said, I've mentioned this before, but it's kind of weird that uh, Frog and Marl are both water. I don't know why they just didn't make, like, Marl ice. Um, because I don't, like, that's the only instance of there being two of the same elements. It's weird. Okay, so yeah, your front, your critical, or your uh, counters don't do anything, Chrono, so just hit him with some more lightning. This is not gonna work, we're just gonna wait till uh, <laughs> he kills us, because we're not even doing that much damage. We probably need some more spells at our repertoire. Repertoire? Okay, so there goes Chrono, Frog is the only one left standing. Yeah, just hit him with your bubbles, just blow bubbles at him, that'll definitely work. It's the equivalent of just bubble in, uh, or squirt gun in Pokemon. So there probably goes Frog. Yeah, 400 damage. Kind of thought we wouldn't be able to take him down. Hee hee hee, I win. You guys are too much. Bring newcomers to meet me. Alright, so let's get out of here now. If we can. Kind of jamming on the door there. Let's save. And, or let, I did the same thing as the last episode. Let's heal, and now let's save. It's still called the Moss Immune. And let's go back to Truce Canyon 600 AD. All right, so we're back in poor, and now we need to do some shopping. So let's find the market. There it is. And before we do this, let's also equip and see if anybody has anything that they can equip. So, yeah, so Chrono has a rock helm, which I forgot to uh, equip. Let's see, nothing there. He's good on accessories. Frog has no weapon, but he can equip the gold helm and the gold suit. And it looks like that's the best he's going to get. And finally, Marl doesn't have anything there. How about the beret? Nope. And the gold suit? No. Okay, so we might not be able to buy any upgrades here, but let's just see if we can. Gold suit, Luca and Robo who are not in our party, beret, Luca who is not in our party. All right, we are moving on. So, if you haven't played this game before, it, it would kind of be um, questionable as to what you're supposed to do next. Luckily for us, I happen to know we need to head over here to the magic cave. Um, I don't, honestly, I don't know what, how you're supposed to know that you're supposed to do this if you uh, haven't played this game before. But anyways, let's go to the Magic Cave, where there will be a flat face of a rock. But luckily, because we picked up a certain item... Hey, you! It's Cyrus! Run for your lives! And we have a little green-haired kid. If you remember, Glenn had green hair, and he followed Cyrus around. Sniffle thanks, Cyrus. Hick. Glenn, there's times when people simply have to grit their teeth. But it hurts when I get hit, they... You're a marshmallow, Glenn. You're a wizard, Harry. Hey, Glenn, I've been thinking about becoming a knight. I knew you were going to enlist. You'll make a great warrior. Why don't you join, too? I don't think I'll make the cut. But why? You're better with a sword than I am. I 
I don't know. I think I'd really lose it if I had to hurt someone. Medal. The Hero's Medal. Handeth over the Masamune. My name is Glenn, Cyrus's hopes and dreams, and now the Masamune. Forthwith, I shall slay Magus and restore honor. And now begins one of my favorite parts of this entire game, which I have said before, but I love... Not this cave. Not this... I don't like this cave. But when we get out of the cave, you guys will see what I'm talking about. Um, and just to touch on what just happened there, I absolutely love Frog. He's probably my favorite character, I think, out of all of the uh, cast. Um, he's awesome. I, I really, really, really like Frog, and I like his backstory, and I like that he wields the Masamune. Masamune. And it's just awesome. So, I think he has it equipped now. Yes, the Masamune. Sweet. I always thought that was awesome how you could equip the legendary sword in this game. Um, Alright, so we have this little bat creature following us around, which is kind of interesting, but we can't attack it. And we also have a bunch of creatures here. Let's go ahead and take them out. We also got a bunch of dual techs, which uh, you guys didn't see. It was off camera as I was moving to poor. Um, so we'll use those now. I think it's a dual tech between Frog and Marl. Let's see. So, we have Sword Stream and Ice Water. Sword Stream, attack enemy with Sword Stream. Ice Water, attack enemies with Ice Water. Okay, let's use Sword Stream on this... What is it called? A Gremlin? Yeah. So that looks to be a Frog and Chrono Dual Tech. So Frog shoots a bubble. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, I remember that one. Okay, cool. And then we will use uh, the other one on that other Gremlin. So let's wait for Frog. Let's see if it'll actually light up if... Okay, there we go. Yeah, so Ice Water, and Ice Water attacks all enemies with Ice and Water, and it's a pretty good ability. So you can see, like, there's a crystal and a bubble, and it explodes, and then it does that. Quite a bit of damage. A nice ability. I like it a lot. Cool. Really glad that I picked Marl. Um, I think I usually have Robo at this point, but I wanted Marl for this playthrough. Okay, moving on. Let's see, we have another one of these boxes. Of course, we're not going to be able to open it, sealed by a mysterious force. Unfortunately, more bats, more grems, more gremlins. All right, so wh what just happened there? I hear, I hear like a clicking noise. I don't know what just happened there. I was looking at something else. Um, anyways, so Marl just learned haste, which is cool. Although I never really used that ability. Haste is obviously a very important uh, ability to have in a lot of other RPGs, but in this game, I don't know. I never really use it a lot, but we will use it now. We'll fight all these gremlins with it. Although we can kill all them pretty easily with one ice water, but I will use haste once. Uh, which, obviously, if you don't know what haste is, I guess you've never played an RPG before, but, uh, yeah, it just increases the, or decreases the time it takes to, uh, use attacks. So, let's use haste, cut allies' wait time by half. So, if we use that on Chrono, obviously, that's going to be, uh, pretty deadly, because it'll be able to t attack twice as fast. I just want to see what it looks like, though. Big clock. Oh, I actually, I do use this a couple times. It is good to buff enemies. You'll notice that there's a uh, red outline on Frog now to let us know that he does have haste activated. Alright, let's go, Marl. Come on. I don't want all these 
disgusting gremlins attacking us with their gross teeth. I don't want to get rock joint, am I right? That's an Elder Scrolls joke. Alright, let's go. Come on. You're killing me. Come on now. Just a little bit more. Don't counter. You're wasting time, Chrono. Oh my god. Let's go. Chrono, come on. We just talked about this. There we go. Okay, now this should take care of all of them. And I have to say how satisfying it is to watch at least five enemies die at once. Look at this. All these red little explosions. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Let's see. Anyone else leveled up or text? No? Wow, even more? You, you joking? You serious? Alrighty, one more ice water took care of all of those guys. We have a dead guy over here. A note written in blood. The juggler in Magus's castle strengthens his guard when attacked. Beware. Strengthens his guard when attacked. Okay. I thought you could get some tonics from this guy, but I guess I'm just confusing that when you're in the prison. Moving on. Okay, we've entered the world map once more. And it looks like the only thing that we have to go to is Magus's lair. And look how ominous that looks. I don't know how in the world that we went uh, underwater in that short little cave to get to this section of the world. But uh, yeah, video game logic. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save really quickly right here. Uh, there we go. It's still the Masamune. And into Magus's lair we go. This can only be... Magus's Castle. Okay, that little scene right there, that little uh, schematic that just happened, cinematic, is one of my favorite things of all time. Absolutely love it. There's only one way to go, ladies and gentlemen, into Max's castle. Okay, so, yeah, I remember this. There's absolutely, absolutely no music playing. Uh, this little bat's still following us. I guess he's our little friend for now. Um, and we have a couple statues, not much else. Let's go ahead and go up the stairs. Can we go through here? No. We have a door on the left. We have a door on the right. I think I've been hanging the left, hanging to the left for the majority of this Let's Play, so why change that now? Hey, a woman. What are you doing in here? Ha ha. What? Ha ha? Huh? What's funny? Ha ha. Okay. Done with you. And a little, and another guy here. And he's not saying much. But can we activate this chest? We can. One mid ether. Cool beans. Alright, these guys are creeping me out. Kind of want to go to the right now. Um, but yeah, let's actually finish this up. Want to play? Want to play? N not really. I have a uh, evil doer to kill. Haha. -ha. Okay. So, you can't tell. Something very creepy is going on here with all of these people. These people. Uh, let's go to the right and see what this one has to offer us. Four little kids, our treasure. Want to play? No. I already said that to some other kids. Okay, well, that's odd. Let's go up this way. King Guardia! Princess Nadia, I was wrong. Please return to the castle. Something tells me this is not King Guardia, though. Uh, oh, Queen Lean! Frog, you're safe. Frog, you're safe. Okay, and another chest here. Got one mid ether. Mom, what are you doing in Magus's castle? Chrono, so this is where you've been since the festival. You had me worried sick. I don't know how you fought through all that stuff, Mom, and got yourself here. That's kind of odd. Okay, well, I guess we'll just go up this way. I don't want to go all the way back to the left. Okay, and we have one singular chair here, which is not, does not seem to be uh, activatable. Is that a word? Activatable? I don't know. So let's get out. Okay, very odd so far. Yeah, you already said that. Mom. Frog, you're safe. Yep, we're safe. You guys are freaking me out. Looks like we need to go to the left. This uh, dead-ass quiet is uh, pretty uh, pretty unnerving. All right, let's go through this door now, or this entrance up the stairs. And another chair with nothing but two chests. Got one mid ether. And got one shelter. Okay, well, we don't really have anything else to do, so let's head back down once more.
Oh, look at that. Now we have a save point. That wasn't there before. And we got a shelter. Oh, wait. Ozzy. Welcome, Glenn. Or should I say Sir Froggy? Mwaha! <laughs> say, looks like you've got some replenishments. Replacements for Cyrus. Maccus is a tad busy by right now. You'll have to take up your business with me. The swordsman... I don't know why I can't read this whole little section of dialogue. The swordsman, Slash, and Flea, the magician, and... You'll have to defeat all 100 of the beasts in Magus's castle. That shouldn't be too hard, honestly. Okay, we have some henches, and I think those were called vamps. Uh, this is not the optimal time to be fighting because we have taken some damage from that cave. But let's see how much one ice water does. Should hit everybody on the entire screen, even those guys down there. If this kills all of them, I will be so happy. I'm so happy! 488 experience points, 12 tech points, found 940G, and we're good to go. And our little bat friend has returned. Okay, so, no save point just yet. Um, it'd probably be good to heal. Let's use some... Let's get these tonics out of the way, because uh, these aren't really going to help us that much from now on. You can see how many that we actually have to use. Uh, MP, I guess everyone's doing okay. Alright, so now we can pick to the left or to the right. I think we'll handle the right first. Yeah. Let's see if these kids say the same thing. Do you want our treasure? Yeah, I would like it. In that case, will you play with us? Please, pretty please. I don't like this. More of these things, huh? So, the last time we saw things like this, they did not take damage from physical attacks. Looks like the same thing is happening here, so let's use another round of Ice Water, which seems to only be doing two points of uh, MP, which is pretty nice, because it's a pretty strong ability. So I am totally fine with that. Peace, sayonara, bye-bye, adios. As soon as I started doing that, I was like, oh god, are you going to be able to think of four different words to say goodbye? But I was. So, one barrier. Barrier. I forget what that is. I I think it might be a... Uh, oh, we have a power tab suite. I think it might be a um, accessory. Let's see here. Do we not have it in our, in our inventory? Did I skip over it? Barrier, 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 bar there it is. Cuts magic hits by one third. Oh, that's actually really good. Um, yeah, let's actually equip that on Marl. What does the magic scarf do? I don't know. Uh, barrier, barrier, barrier. Where is it? Oh! Oh, barrier is an item that we can use. Duh, I forgot momentarily. Alright, let's go back in here. How's it going, King Guardian? Princess Nadia, I was wrong. Please return to the castle. You said that already, but now something different's happening. As roadkill, my dear. Oh, you jerk. Okay, so this fight's actually going to be a little bit more difficult. We have a sorcerer. Um, and I know these guys have some weird mechanic with them, but we will use some ice water to clear out these two guys on the left and these two guys on the right, and then we'll focus on the sorcerer. I guess the sorcerer is just healing them, but that sprite there, we'll, we'll see those guys. You, you'll notice there that he just got healed. So I think what we want to do here is use our physical attacks, which do decent damage. Destruction zone, I think that hits everybody for damage, yep. But not by much. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm actually, I accidentally switched the side of the, uh, or switched where the, uh, info was. Alright, so you can see there that Masamune does quite a bit of damage. Um, yeah, you definitely want to have it on Frog, especially with the Hero's Medallion or Medal or whatever, because it gives him, uh, you know, a bonus to his critical hits. Frog, you're safe! I guess we better do something about that! Alright, I don't know if you guys can tell, but all of the little sounds that go on normally in Chrono Trigger have a really big echo now, because we're in Magus's castle, which is pretty cool. Alright, so it looks like we have Chrono's mom left, but something tells me it's not Chrono's mom. Chrono, so this is where you've been since the festival, you had me worried sick! Children this naughty deserve to be punished! Alrighty, Chrono has leveled up. Let's go ahead and heal really quickly. We'll use Marl's, uh, or would probably do the trick. 
Okay, boom and boom. Now, do we have enough MP? I think we could stand to use a little bit of uh, some ethers really quickly. So you get some ethers, you get some ethers, and you get some ethers. Okay, moving on. Now, there was a dead end here before, but now... The Magician Flea, I presume. Flea, and there's a question mark after that, so let's see how much damage a physical attack does. 151, so we'll stick with that. MP Buster steals MP. No, don't do that. I really, really hate that move, because now Chrono has zero MP. Wow, Flea was pretty easy, huh, guys? Wait, that isn't Flea. Where's the real Flea? Mwaha, here, over here. So that little bat that was following us following us the whole time was actually Flea. Giving up, little tadpole? Who is this person? Keep your guard up. This is no ordinary woman. Meet Flea, the magician. What the? Hey, I'm a guy. I always thought this was so weird. That is a guy? Male, female, what's the difference? Power is beautiful and I've got the power. Poor little froggy, you must be lonely now that Cyrus is gone, and to be turned into something so hideous, dress dreadful. But since you've brought, brought- God, come on, Grovana, lock it down. But since you've brought your new friends over to play, I'll show you all a good time. Jesus. Okay, so we've been transported to some otherworldly realm here. We're fighting Flea, and Chrono has zero MP, so we are going to use a mid ether on Chrono, and we're going to use a barrier on Marl, which reduces the magic damage he takes by one third, I believe. Frog is asleep, which is not good. Uh, is there anything to. Uh, I guess not. Okay. Well, we will use an attack on Flea and see how much damage that does. 128, decent damage. Okay, and we'll also use ice on flea to see how much magic does i'm going to guess that uh, it either heals her or it does not do a lot let's see it deals decent damage okay well, i wish frog would wake up um but for now we'll use spin cut with chrono what does that ability do it does damage to everybody although that's the same thing as uh the that's the same animation as aura world which heals us so Spin Cut does quite a bit, which is good. Uh, Frog has Blind, I guess, which... Let's actually use Haste on Chrono. There we go. Yeah, Frog has Blind, which makes it so that... Um, oh yeah, we want to use... Wait, Sword Stream? Yeah, let's use Sword Stream. Okay, so yeah, the Blind makes it so that Frog's physical attacks will not work. But hopefully his techs, even if they involve swords and stuff, will work. Let's see how much damage Sword Stream does. 312, that's not a lot, honestly. Uh, and then we'll also see how much damage uh, Ice Sword does. Waltz of the Wind, Chaos. Okay, so this is a, an ability that's going to deal some damage to Frog, but it's also going to give him Chaos, which makes it that we cannot control Frog, which sucks, but we do have access to Ice Sword. So we'll see how much damage that does. You can see Frog just tried to attack Chrono, but it missed. So yeah, the only real purpose, 350. So that's a little bit more than Sword Stream, but I still don't like how that's pretty low. Um. Oh wow, that ability actually connected. Okay, so we're gonna use this turn to use Aura Whirl with Marl and Chrono. And Frog now has access to his abilities, so let's go with Slurp Cut. Even though water probably will do more damage, I'm not really sure. Everybody gets healed about 150, so everyone's pretty much back at 100% uh, health. That does quite a bit of damage, so I think we're gonna be better off using single techs for Flea. So we'll use Spin Cut with Chrono. Slurp Cut with Frog. And it really helps that Chrono's activating his counters. Yeah, this is much better than using uh, dual techs, at least for Flea. And then we will use Ice for uh, Marl. Although, obviously, we could be using Marl to haste our party members, but Frog and Chrono already have pretty decent uh, recharge rates. Okay, so I don't think Flea is that hard. She should be dying fairly quickly here. Let's do one more round of... Uh, text before we cut to the end. Come on, Chrono, you can do it. Spin cut that bitch. Or that guy, I guess. The stair. Heart slash fleas heart heart magic. Don't really know what that does. I guess it makes Chrono attack her. Um, okay. Rainbow storm, wind of poison. So I'm going to assume this is going to poison our team. Yeah. Let's try one more round of text. Even though I said that we were only going to do one more round, but hey, I lied. Let's see if Marl's ice 
can freeze this man slash woman over and enter. No? Okay. Alright, there we go. 500 experience points, 10 tech points, 1000 G. Marl has leveled up. How can this be, Sir Magus? Okay, flea's gone, but there is a sparkle sparkle on the ground. And it's one magic tab. And we're going to end the episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. My name is Grovana, and I will see you tomorrow to end off this week of Chrono Trigger. Bye-bye.